Hi there, my name is Mark Greenberg. I'm a group director at Cadence in the IP group. And today my, my uh, presentation is going to be about post-package repair in LPDDR4, LPDDR5, and DDR5 devices. So the first question is, what is a post-package repair? And a post-package repair, as, as you might imagine, is the ability to repair a device after it's been packaged. So if we think about, uh, if we think about the DRAM, um, uh, the DRAM manufacturing process. Like many semiconductors, the device is manufactured and uh, it's tested and then it's placed into a package and then ultimately it comes, uh, uh, you, you would apply it to your PCB and your final product. So uh, what, what's the issue and why is post-package repair important? Well, if we want to think about uh, a DRAM device in general, um, you probably are aware that uh, a DRAM device is made up of a lot of uh, uh, small DRAM bit cells. So these bit cells look something like this. There is a uh, transistor which controls the flow of uh, current to and from a capacitor, uh, which is then grounded. And uh, by applying charge to this guy, you can store a value. And by uh, using a sense amp to look and tell whether there's charge on it or not, um, then you can tell if there's a one or a zero on that DRAM device. So this is great, except, uh, and you can certainly build these. Um, on a typical DRAM device in, for sale today, you would typically put eight gigabits or maybe 16 gigabits on some of the newer devices um, onto a single piece of silicon. So I have now eight billion or 16 billion of these on a very small piece of silicon. Um, what could possibly go wrong? Well, there's a very, very tiny amount of charge stored on this capacitor to store a one. And there's not a whole lot of difference between a one or a zero. And the problem um, that's trying to be addressed in post-package repair is that when you solder a DRAM device onto uh, your PCB, you can actually, uh, you can actually damage these, these bit cells. So if you imagine that you have uh, a, a PCB, you have on it um, a very expensive CPU, you have on it a whole bunch of other components and you have your uh, you have your DRAM also uh, also on the uh, the PCB, or you may in fact have it uh, in the case of a mobile device. You may ha actually have that DRAM directly on top of the CPU. What you've done is uh, you, you've soldered this together. You've raised uh, the die to a fairly high temperature when you're doing that soldering, and you may have damaged uh, one or more of these bit cells on the DRAM device. So what do you do? Post package repair. It's a new feature in the LPDDR4 standard. We expect it to be also included in newer uh, memory standards when those are released, like LPDDR5 and DDR5. And it, using the memory controller, it allows you to enter a mode where you can select a part of the DRAM and basically say, this, this area of the DRAM is bad, and I'm going to be able to swap in a new area, of, a, a spare area of DRAM into that device and allow the CPU to be able to continue using the, uh, uh, this DRAM as if nothing had ever happened. So post-package repair, it solves a, a very real problem that exists in the assembly of DRAM with uh, CPUs or uh, application processors. And um, it's a feature that we have within our DDR controller to allow you to initiate the, uh, the post-package repair mode. So that's been our Whiteboard Wednesday. Uh, turn in, tune in next week for a new one. Thank you. Thank you.